Preppers should stockpile these foods before shortages happen. Peanut butter is a good food to have because it lasts fairly long if it's unopened. It has protein, carbs, and fat, and you can eat it right out of the jar without having to prepare it. Olive oil is another great thing to have. Obviously, you can use other oils, but olive oil is still at a decent price and is a healthier choice than something like canola oil. The good thing about these metal tins is that the olive oil will last longer in them compared to something like a clear plastic bottle. Canned fruit. After the collapse, you will have little to no options when it comes to things like sweets, candies, and desserts. So even if you didn't like this before, you're really going to enjoy canned fruit in an SHTF world because it's going to be one of the few foods that taste sweet and are still available. During the cowboy days, they would actually look forward to eating their canned fruit and they really enjoyed it because they treated it as a dessert. This will be more of a luxury food item that will have a lot of value during bartering in an SHTF world. Canned soup. When you get sick, sometimes the only thing that makes you feel better is soup. And if it's the collapse, you won't have access to the pharmacy and all the medicine you usually buy. So get your favorite soup and stockpile a lot of it. It may even come in handy as a good bartering item if the person you're trading with is sick or has a sick family member. To prepare, you just add a cup of water, mix it and heat it up and it's ready to go. Canned beans are a great option as well. Ideally, you should get food that you will eat. Some people eat canned beans and some people don't. But if it's a post-apocalyptic world and you're hungry, then you will be happy to eat these anyway. If not, they can be a bartering item as they are nutritious and filling. Rice. Get a few big bags of white rice, store them in mylar bags with oxygen absorbers, and they will last about 25 years. That way you'll have lots of food to keep you full and maybe even some extras for bartering. That's it for the video. If you want to suggest some other foods that preppers should stockpile, leave it in the comments.